I'm Michael Ratner. I'm from the Center for Constitutional Rights in New York. We represent WikiLeaks and Julian Assange, and we're here in part uh, because alleged sources for WikiLeaks we want to support. Jeremy Hammond is an alleged source for WikiLeaks with some of the most valuable documents out there on the internet. Five million Stratfor emails. I'm here uh, because I support truth tellers. I support truth tellers like Bradley Manning. I support truth tellers like Jeremy Hammond and Julian Assange. And right now we're at a point in this government where they are hitting people with sledgehammers for telling the truth because they don't want government and corporate corruption, hypocrisy, and criminality coming out. And just yesterday, our wonderful Attorney General announced a new policy, a tougher policy, one he said in which we're going to make truth tellers getting them our priority. And the question I have is how much of a priority more do they want to make it? They already killed Aaron Swartz. They're Jeremy Hammond is facing 39 years to life. Bradley Manning, life imprisonment. And Julian Assange, if they ever get him out of that embassy and into a prison here, will face the same. So I asked the government, what do they want to do? Put him up, up against the wall and just shoot the guys? I mean, it's an outrageous suppression of truth. And the struggle that's going on in this country right now is whether we're going to have a transparent government and corporations that are transparent are we going to continue dirty tricks, hypocrisy, and secrecy? And that's what this case, that's what Jeremy Hammond's case uh, is about. I'm also here because I'm seeing unroll in front of me a travesty of justice, a case in which government informants were in on the case, in which the government itself bought the computer uh, in trapping the people involved in the case. I'm here because Jeremy Hammond did not get bail, which he absolutely should have had. I'm here because today, as Heidi and others have said, we're seeing a conflict of interest by the judge. As Heidi in the Guild said, she wakes up every morning with someone whose email uh, was hacked uh, in the Stratford emails. This is a fair judge, not at all. I'm here because I stand for our transparent government, transparent corporations, and privacy for all of us. We are on the verge of a major struggle in this country, and this case is critical to how we go forward. Will we have a democracy, or will we continue to have a government that suppresses the truth and its own criminality? So again, thank you all for being here with us to support Jeremy Hammond. Free Jeremy! This is a private, yeah, yeah, this is a private company who hired Stratford to keep an eye on you and, and, and yeah. track you. Uh, what would be the reason to track an, an activist? Uh? Well, I think they're worried. They're worried about activism. I mean, Dow was worried that something was going to happen. Now I've been convicted of two five-year felonies, consecutive five-year felonies, for taking data from a public web server and giving it to a journalist.